tell you what, it is bloody warm. Alright, so we're going to tackle a few things in this video. Hello, by the way. Hope you're all alright. Hope you're all out riding your bikes on this uh, amazing weather. I mean, look at it. It's just bloody gorgeous. Yeah, whilst, whilst it's nice out, what I'm trying to do, basically, is... Um, I'm going to have 525 mile. And I need to get it to at least 600. I've got this... I've got this in for its first service on Monday and it's now um, Tuesday night. I've been taking it easy on this thing. I've not really been recording too much to be honest. I've, uh, I've just been out enjoying it where I can. And so we're going to take a very slightly different route today. So yeah, today's video is going to cover a few different things. Um, but most notably, I'm going to go over whether or not I miss the speed triple. You know, I've had this bike now for about a month. It's coming up to its first service. I will do a, um, once it, once it's run in kind of thing, I'll do a little bit of a mini review kind of thing. But for now, let's get some speed. Oh my God, I'm doing a lot faster than I thought. Again, it's one of the things on this bike I just cannot seem to get a grip of is the speed. You just don't feel like you're going that fast and you look down and you are doing. And one of the things as well is the dash is so far down that you, you kind of don't, it's not in your my periphery. I've said this before, but you have to physically look down to see what speed you're going, and uh, hey, it's one of those things. So yeah, primarily this video is going to be just, do, do I miss the speed triple? Am I glad I got this bike? Where's my head at? You know, that kind of stuff, because sometimes people can do this thing, do these things and have massive regrets. Don't get me wrong, this bike is in no way perfect. I've had a handful of issues with it already, one of which I've said on the channel already, um, and it's looking like the head bearings are loose, because every time I go over a bump or just brake at the front, it, in this area here underneath the handlebars, there's a weird loose feeling, like, there's, like something's clacking around, something's loose. Uh, and I've had a word with KTM and we've basically, th we think it's the head bearings. <laughs> oh, that's why I like this thing. By the way, spoilers, I fucking love this bike. So yeah, people can have a bit of regret after doing these things. Did, do I regret this at all? Uh, no. No, no, no. Absolutely not. Do I miss the speed triple? Yeah, I do. Absolutely. So I have been looking back at some of my old videos on the speed triple, and it's a shame because, that. It, honestly, I'll keep saying it, but that, that bike was phenomenal. When it worked, it was a really, really nice bike. They just had so many problems with it. You know, those problems not being immediately fixable or me having to go through a lot in order to try and get them resolved. You know, being in the bloody dealership for all that time and, and all that. By the way, the microphone is tickling me at the minute. It's right in my gob. I've had to move it because the, the little clip that I use has fallen off. So I've had to put a new one on and it's right in me gob. Now I have been taking it easy on this bike. Just, you know, obviously I'm, I'm wearing it, I'm bedding it in and stuff. So I've not been taking it too silly. Like I said, it's kind of hard to do that sometimes with this thing because you look down, it feels like I'm doing maybe 40 mile an hour right now and I look down and I'm doing 60 and it is so difficult to keep this thing under wraps sometimes. Uh, but yeah, I, I really, I do, and you know, I'm not gonna lie to you people, I like being honest and um, I do miss the speed triple, I really do. Especially in days like this. I mean, the, there are things that I don't miss about it. Like the suspension, you know, I was going to have to get that stuff revalved and resprung for my particular for my weight, and that stuff would have cost me a fortune. It would have cost five hundred pounds or so. So in that regard, I'm kind of glad that I've got rid of it. Stuff like that. In other regard, in, you know, in other regards, I do, I really do miss it. But you never know. Maybe in a few years, when when my finances up on this, we'll see what. Hopefully, they would have bedded out the issues by then. But but for now, this thing. I, abs I honestly, honestly, honestly really like it. There are problems with it. Again, I'm not going to bullshit you all. They've got, I've got issues with it at the minute, right? It's going in for its service on Monday and they're going to be hopefully sorted out. But the main issue that I have with this bike at the minute, like I've said, is the head bearings. Like, they're like going over bumps now. I can feel it pretty much like over these. Bang, bang, bang. There is a clattering underneath the handlebars. And I actually took the handlebars off whilst I was moving them back and forth and just tried to see if I could you know, wiggle the front end or what, but I just couldn't, couldn't find anything. I mean, the, this thing as well with corners, oh my God, it is so. The suspension is so much nicer for me. So much nicer for me um, than the speeds. The speeds were so, were so stiff. It was so rigid. It was really not nice at all. And it picks up speed so bloody quick. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a set of videos, like the top things that I like about this bike, 
and the top things that I don't like on any any kind of engine braking or pots like the roads here are just, just, just they're horrible and you can feel it just this cracking feeling it's almost as if there's a gap between the handlebar clamps and it's just moving up and down kind of thing but this yeah I'm, I'm absolutely loving it I mean just looking at the way that this thing corners it doesn't care it just does not care and I'm going around corners so much quicker than I could and I just have the confidence in the bike as well the tyres, the rs 22s and the, they're absolutely amazing I've ridden these in the wet, I've ridden them everywhere and they're fantastic but it's just a pleasure, it's, it's an absolute pleasure to ride I, I love, I absolutely love it and for me, like comfort wise as well, it's really nice I've done a fair few, I did a, I did a stint of about 150 mile I think I did on it and the only thing that was, my arse was alright I was, a, you know, when I come off rides like that, I'm in tatters anyway but compared to the street, the speed triple and the streets uh, and the Panigale and the Ninja, all the bikes that I've had it's actually the comfiest the only thing that happened on that ride was my arms where I got off and it was like it was a really strange feeling because of the because of the, the, the way that the twin is with the vibrations because it did it I kind of got off it and it felt like my arms were tingling um, and that was on for a while that but I, I don't know if that's me needing to just relax a little bit more so I've what I've been trying to do is just help my posture a little bit more because I tend to sort of crouch my back down I tend to sort of squat my lower back so what I've been doing is I've been pushing my hips forward making my lower back straight and just loosening my arms I'm just trying to basically oh wow fucking well done mate yeah well done pal yeah and I've it, it's made me ride in a different way but also there's so many little bits of adjustment on the bike as well where you, you can change your, your foot peg angle you can change the bar location location and the way that the bike is designed it's very uh, it's very intuitive the engineering side of things and the design side of things is very intuitive so I'm, I'm liking that yeah I do I do miss a lot from the speed triple and it sounds a bit silly but the weight this this bike is it is heavy it is maybe 10 kilos heavier than the, than the speed but it's not particularly that that you notice it's more where the weight is because on the speed triple the weight's very low it's got a very low center of gravity and this bike the weight is very much up it feels in the chassis so you know the petrol tank uh, the engine it feels very high up so the centre of gravity feels quite high on this bike whereas on the speed triple everything felt very very low and uh, very manoeuvrable and manageable this thing trying to um, manoeuvre it around I've nearly dropped it a few times actually because it's so top heavy that's one thing that I do miss about the speed is just how low it was now this thing you know you're higher up on the ground which decreases the sense of speed as well which is one of the things I think as to why this is uh, it feels like you're going slower than you are is because you're actually higher up on the ground and uh, also the the clearance so I'm about 5'11 give or take with boots and I, I could flat foot the speed I could flat foot pretty much any other bike that I've had and this one I can't flat foot it and that's one major thing for me that I actually quite like in a bike is being able to flat foot it because you can pedal your bike back when you sat on it and you can manoeuvre it around a little bit easier now when your feet are kind of they're not far off the floor you know they're not too far off the heels but it is definitely one of those where it's definitely noticeable because of the weight so high again it, it feels like it wants to tip quite easy and I'm coming in and I'm trying to you know uh, push this bike back on my feet when I'm sat on it or even when I'm off the bike and you know it, it feels like it can tip quite easy and I've, it's caught me out a few times actually so definitely something to be aware of if you're going to get one of these is that they are quite a tall bike it's very motardy in that way very much like the MT-09 in the way that it sits but more aggressive yeah it's a cross between like a crosser um, a motard and a sports bike I love this set of roads just trail breaking through it like this it just oh it's so f it's so agile it and it's it just so it's so planted it just sticks I said this uh, pretty much the same words when I was last down here actually on my video he, I just didn't get that with the speed triple in fact I haven't had that with the bike in a very long time the last bike that I had that with was the Panigale that I had and that thing was just fucking impossible to ride with my with my broken body another thing that I miss about the speed is the quick shifter 
Oh, bollocks, I was meant to turn left. Yeah, I really, really missed the quick shifter because the quick shifter on that, on the speed, was the best I have ever, ever used. It was absolutely beautiful. Going up first or second was amazing, but the consequence of that is because it's a stacked gearbox, is that you could never find neutral. This thing I can find neutral so much easier now. If you've got a speed triple and you're wondering why you can't get it into neutral, it's because of the stacked gearbox. It's so narrow between first and second, which is why the quick shifter is so good. So it's a bit of a compromise really there. But I do miss the quick shifter on that thing. It was it was unbelievable. God, it's warm. You know what it's like? It's half six and it's fucking 25 degrees. I mean, don't get me wrong, the quick shift on this isn't particularly bad. It's just things like going through first and second at certain RPMs, and, and even through the normal gears. Sometimes it's like you're getting fucking booked forward because the kill time isn't right on certain on certain parts of the rev range there. And I've, I think that's probably due to fueling, so if I get this mapped at some point, I reckon that might help that out a little bit. Because there are going to be parts of the rev range as, of a, as it's a stock bike. They're, they're going to fuel better than others because of the Euro 5 emissions and such. So, so yeah. So what else do I miss about the speed? Well, the looks of it. I loved the look of that bike. It was so nice, like, I know some people don't like the bug eyes and stuff, but man, I fucking love the look of those bloody eyes. They were so good. They looked so good. From the side, they were a bit weird, because it had a, the Triumph range tend to do this. I don't know why the Speed and Street Triples have done this for years, but they have a really long stem on the front of the headlights, and it kind of makes it look like it's got a big fucking nose, and it's kind of annoying from the side, but head on, it looks so angry and so mean. Oh, come on, I want to wheelie off this thing, come on. <laughs> so that's it really, boys and girls. I just wanted to give you a bit of an update as to where things are with this. And where I am in, with the bike in general. There are a few issues, yes, don't get me wrong, there's been MTC failures and all that kind of stuff. See, a lot of people have been getting that and uh, the only way to fix it, because it's the same issue with me, um, it's the servo cables. And the only way you can really fix that is by just removing the servo motor, which I've actually had a KTM guy say to me, just do it. Because I was worried about the warranty and stuff as usual, like I always am. And they just said, just do it. Because you're just going to get these MTC ca uh, failures thrown up all the time and I don't want to have to send it back all the time. In order for the uh, message to go away, you've got to go into a KTM dealership. And all of them at the minute, I've got a very long waiting time. So, so yeah, that's me, folks. I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update as to where things are at. Am I missing the speed triple? You know, yes, I am. I absolutely am. But I think, you know, that I'm more comfortable on this bike. I prefer the torque of this bike. I prefer torque in general, to be honest. There are bits and bobs I like about both. This is the thing with everything in life. But yeah, I miss it. But do I regret it? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with what I've got. And hopefully, you know, I will be happy for a long time with it. So that's me, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon, I'm sure. And until the next time, I'll sort them out. Ta ra, see you later. Bloody hell, what is that? Someone's dead mum in the road. Get him. We ready? We ready? That was a bit of a shit one, man.